This next patient is an interesting one with advanced uh, Parkinson's disease. You can see the tardive dyskinesias that the patient has. It's hard for him to hold still. He's trying to chew and move his head. And uh, I, I went ahead and tried to tape his head down. Uh, this is done under topical anesthesia. I'm kind of wondering if I should have blocked the patient or maybe even put him to sleep, although other medical problems make him at higher risk for problems if we do put him to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and try this under topical anesthesia. Um, it's a little viscoelastic uh, here. And I'm uh, going to go ahead and do the... Uh, Actually, I'm going to put some viscoelastic, additional viscoelastic in here, and then I'm going to do the capsulorexis. And I've got uh, a couple people trying to kind of hold the head down a little bit, try to uh, sort of just sort of hold back some of the movements. Going to do the capsulorexis here. Going to try to start small and spiral outward in case there are any kind of sudden movements. But uh, anyway, I think this is going to turn out. Uh, pretty well. Um, just taking my time and uh, now I'm going to do a hydrodissection here. Some of the cohesive viscoelastic comes out. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the phaco emulsification here. Dissolving the lens with ultrasound and uh, just doing a very conservative approach here. Nothing fancy. Trying to uh, limit in fact the two-handed technique because of the movements of the of the head. So I'm going to try and do as much of this one-handed as possible. Um, but uh, after after deep uh, sculpting here, I'll use my second instrument to uh, simply crack the nucleus. Uh, then I'll go ahead and increase my vacuum and uh, try to go back to doing a one-handed technique to uh, remove the uh, the nucleus, disassemble the nucleus from the epinucleus and the uh, cortex. Just taking my time. And uh, now I'll go ahead and hydrodissect that epinucleus out so that it'll just make a little bit extra safety so I can vacuum the epinucleus out. And uh, this looks like it's going to work very, very well. Very good. Now I'm going to remove the, uh, the, the residual cortex using the uh, irrigation aspiration unit. Probably won't be as aggressive as I usually am at polishing the posterior capsule uh, just because I don't want to uh, risk rupturing the capsule using the one-piece plate columnar lens which uh, has been working fantastic uh, in my practice right now and uh, putting that lens in the bag, uh, moving it around, making sure I don't have any residual lens material or viscoelastic behind the lens. And then after that, I'll go ahead and hydrate the wound, make sure it's secure. Um, just want to make sure I've got a deep chamber and don't have any leakage uh, for the completion of the case. Thank you.